Hi guys and welcome to CrackChannelCup.com My name is Leomi Anderson and this is my second fashion week vlog So when I first spoke to you guys and Carson's had just started and I was really calm and mellow and yeah, yeah forget all of that yeah because now this is like day what well, Sunday show started on I don't know. I think this is like day three or four now of the actual fashion shows themselves. But one thing that people need to understand is that just because the shows have started doesn't mean that casting has stopped. If anything, your schedule actually becomes more complicated because now not only do you have shows, which um, say for example, if a show actually starts at six, the call time is going to be three. So that's three hours taken up. In between that, you have castings and then you also have like fittings and fits to um, so a fitting is you've well you're basically confirm the show they're trying on the look that you're gonna wear for the show they're styling it that kind of thing a fit to confirm is basically the same thing but there's just a bit more chance that like if the clothes don't fit you in a certain way or whatever then they might just cancel you so it's fit to confirm it's like to be continued kind of thing but yeah so you're trying to deal with this more hectic schedule the times of things are way off like if you go to a cast thing and it starts at 9 finish at 12 cool you know that but when it comes to a fitting it's like they take time and some things can take 10 minutes whereas some can take hours and you might not even be the first one like it's all really complicated because you also don't want to be late to your job etc etc um yeah so i'm really i'm really happy with like the response i've getting from clients i've had um, a lot of things and stuff um like yesterday i had 6 20 a.m call time for a show uh, show didn't actually start until 10 because it ran late and then after that I had to get to four fittings and then I had another show and then I ended up having like a casting after the show or something crazy like that like literally these are the schedules that get really sporadic because it's like some girls can turn up to a show literally like half an hour before it starts because their other one may have ran over but you can't just leave a job like you can leave a casting if it's like taking long once you're at the job, you're in your job, and if it runs over, then that's just going to affect the rest of your day. So you're dealing with so much stress. Like, when it comes to the casting, you have your own order, you follow it yourself, you're by yourself, you're calm. But when it comes to backstage, it shows it's crazy. You, you're not just there chilling, getting your makeup done and getting a facial massage. No, you have people tugging at your hair. You have hairstyles that take up to two cans of hairspray. Like, look at this. Look at how my hair was yesterday. I am fucking job right now, yeah? That's all I've got to say about this. And yeah. And it took like, what, three or four, maybe even more washes and literally every single time shampoo I've got in my house. Like, it was insane. Like, after I blow dried my hair the first time, it was still afro. It was that deep. I had to wash my hair so many times. And then it's like, for me, when you have black hair as well, shows can be a problem if you have your hair out. Even if you have a weave, like it can be a problem because it's not your hair if it's a weave. And if it is your hair, then certain products just don't mix. Um, for me, any black models watching this or inspiring model, aspiring models, like you need to carry your black hair kit. You need to have hairspray that is suitable for your hair, but still works for the hairdresser. Don't be trying to come with some sheen spray and try and light it, it don't work. Two, you need to have something that can be an alternative to, you know, like if they want something to be shiny, they might want to add like, I don't know, like a gel or whatever. Like the show that I just done now, Parching Moo, which is amazing by the way, like the hair was a wet look, like really wet look. So for Caucasian hair, it was water and gel. But in my bag, I'd actually packed a hair serum. So I said, is it possible? You can still use the water for the wet look, but can you just add my oil for the shine? And they were perfectly fine with that. Like obviously you always have to approach the situation understanding that they have a look in mind and they need to be able to achieve that look. So. You know, if you have an alternative product, like you can't just be like, no, no, don't use hairspray and not offer an alternative or no, don't use gel, but not offer an alternative, you see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, like you have to really work alongside the hairdresser. You can't fight against them if they want to do something a bit different to your hair. Um, but yeah, of course, there's always been tears. I've already cried. 
have already like been on the just like you know the brink of exhaustion well okay that's a bit of an exaggeration because i'm a high practice person but you know like i'm a really happy person and during fashion week i just feel like punching up everyone photographers in your face like you're getting your hair pulled you're really crying because it's painful and there's someone in your face with the iphone it's just like it's like you have no privacy when you're getting changed they could be photographers just lingering around like it's insane backstage but it's the it's a buzz it's stressful sometimes well most of the time actually and i don't even know how to describe it but um yeah let me just explain you how a show goes so you get there um hair and makeup have already had their looks um prepared and stuff like the days before they show all the makeup artists and the hair team and then you're going to get your hair and makeup done your nails these are awesome i really like these your toes whatever and then you'll have a rehearsal and then you know maybe with the shoes or whatever and then you're gonna eventually do the show there's times when i can have like up to like six people on me i can have four on my hair a woman doing my nails someone doing my makeup like it can get really really crazy backstage and that's kind of one of the aggravating things it's like being touched consistently and knowing that it's not even something that you should feel weird about but you do sometimes like people just dragging your hair because obviously they want to get their job done quickly but it's hurting it's hurting you know you have to look back sometimes ow but you know it's everyone's just trying to get their job done and that's what you have to remember at the end of the day too sorry i've got this disgusting mosquito bite it's really itchy but yeah um anyway um i'm just gonna say that's my, kind of like it really i've described shows fittings the chaos and hopefully next time i do a video i'll either be on my way to london or in london because fashion week finishes next week thursday or friday i think don't know even know what day it is and i haven't had a weekend off by the way or a day off in like two of it weeks so it's getting a bit getting a bit tired of it but i'm actually enjoying it i'm enjoying like seeing all my friends and stuff and the collections are beautiful and as you get older i feel like i appreciate the clothes more because obviously you get more into fashion you get to see how you know you get to appreciate that this is someone's art um, but yeah i don't know I'm just trying to see the positives in this crazy cloud or whatever but yeah, um, I'm gonna go chill with my boyfriend now, it's outside. Um, so yeah, I'll see you sometime next week. Thanks for watching guys. Oh yeah, um, my hair's effed up. If you're looking at it thinking the only edges are not looking nice. Yeah, it's fucked up from the show I just got back from. But yeah, um, and thanks for watching and don't forget to visit crackchannelcup.com. See ya. No, baby,